most kids' educations have fallen off track long before they arrive on Rikers Island. I wasn't even in school. I was really chilling in the neighborhood, just doing things I was not supposed to do. And although incarceration means mandatory class attendance, Devon Steffen says he was watching his back more than he was learning. They be fighting class. It's like, it's jail. Everybody, anywhere you go, there's going to have fights. Because it's jail. You can't control, if you're in jail, you're going to become worse than how you was outside in the streets. More than 12,000 New York City students a year go to school behind bars. It's a disorganized system with 53 schools run by the city and more than 100 by the state. Schools were opened haphazardly, often in response to lawsuits. And despite major national and municipal education reforms, the schools and jails have largely been forgotten. At Rikers, the average student reads at a fifth grade level, and many of the 16 to 21 year old inmates are illiterate. Almost 50 percent have special education needs, many classified as emotionally disturbed. The system compounds the trauma and compounds the problem. In many circumstances, you're looking at children who have struggled for years and years with undiagnosed disabilities, with limited access to high quality education, and then you put them into facilities that are also not capable of providing them with the high quality education that they need and deserve. And it's not just the young people who suffer, but the communities they are from. It makes all of us less safe because we are basically taking young people, incarcerating them, and making them worse so that when they do transition back to society, we're all at greater risk. It's an issue that hits home especially hard in the city's black and Hispanic communities. While 70 percent of students in the overall system are black and Hispanic, 95 percent of students in jail are. The children come to the jail with a long history of not receiving the education that they should get, that the schools have failed them, their teachers have failed them. It's not just a problem of incarcerated youth, it's a problem of the education given, and especially education given to poor people and people of color that is at the root of this problem. A problem that officials say they're finally ready to face head on. On Rikers Island, Lindsey Christ, New York One.